Guys, welcome to my carnivore channel. Matthew here, all about the carnivore, guys. It's also all about the consistency, and it's about the consistency in a lot of things. Yes, I'm going to tell you how you can become consistent and get, look at all these shoes. This is only 10 pairs of the shoes, guys. I can't fit any more on this desk. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you how I'm doing it. These are brand new Timberlands. I don't know if you can tell, but they are, okay? So, just to talk about it, today, today I'm excited to tell you that today is day 145 on my carnivore journey. So what does that mean to me? Well, I did look up the meaning of the number 145. I like the meaning of the number 144, and I might share that with you in a minute as well. But the number 145, by the way, if you are carnivore, thinking about going carnivore, or you know somebody that might benefit from it, I'm telling you, if you got high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, if you got arthritis in your body like I did, if you're in pain at night, you gotta be waking up. If you're waking up four to six times a night to be able to relieve yourself, what I'm telling you is that all of these things can be reversed. In my personal experience, what I believe, I'm not a doctor, but they can be reversed. A new life is waiting for you. A new life of mental happiness, of just feeling great. And it's true. It's true. A lot of it has to do with the fact you're going to be getting more sleep. The inflammation is escaping out of your body. You are eating now the most, the least inflammational diet. Yes. Of course, there's the line diets too, but this one right here. I believe is the very best one, and that's why I'm sharing it with you. Mm -hmm. If you take a look at my other videos, eating that steak, that crab that, that, we, that we made, the crab dish the other day, uh, being able to go out there to the barbecue place, whoo we oh, that barbecue is good now. Now, let's get to, oh man, ooh, I'm about to get excited, and I do want to go get some more of that fake crab meat over at Walmart. This stuff is good. Now, there is real crab meat in there too, but it's also the fish, so it makes it affordable at two and a quarter pounds for $9.99. You cannot beat that. Definitely check out that video. So, I didn't, <laughs> I'm only telling you that because I rated that a 10 out of 10. I have not been that excited over a dish in a long, long time. No, no, no. And the barbecue is good. By the way, we are, Darlene and I are going to be going to get some barbecue on Wednesday. I'm actually trying to get her to go, who these shoes, look at all these. I'm going to tell you how to get them in a minute. But we're going to be going to eat some barbecue on Wednesday. Wednesday. Set your calendars. <laughs> I don't think we're going to go live. But we well, we, we could. Uh, oh, by the way, for anybody that's mentioned to me in my videos that you were having difficulty hearing on any of my videos, especially the barbecue place, there was, I think that's it. And then there was one that we were doing music in as well. Going to be getting the microphones. That is going to be improving. I'm excited about those. I've got one for the desk. It's a big one. Very, very nice. I'm not sure exactly how tall it's going to be. I think I ordered the black one. I did. No, 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 no. I ordered the more fun one. That's a little bit purple, but it's anyway, you're going to see it. Um, also, I got two little lapel ones. Kind of cool. Excited about those. Um, I picked them out. I went and bought an Amazon card. <laughs> Darling did the order. It was ordered last night. So looking forward to getting those. Yeah, um, I don't know when they're coming in. Darlene would know, <laughs> so I should ask Darlene. All right, let me get to the shoes. Because you know what? In anything in life, everything's about consistency, but it's about knowing how to do it. It's knowing the plan. And I'm going to, I'm going to make a, um, a bridge right now between a plan and knowing the end results, which you don't think maybe are going to happen, Okay. How do you get a bunch of shoes, all of them worth mainly over $100? I'm going to go through each one of these pairs with you in a moment. When I started on the carnivore diet, I'm telling you, I listened to people. Actually, I listened to Mike. <laughs> and then I jumped in both feet, okay? When I did jump in both feet, it was scary at first. The first 30 days, scary, scary, scary. Because I've been plant-based for like 10 years, right? But I'm going to tell you something. That first 30 days, after those first two weeks, my body got realigned. Oh, my gosh. Oh, the, the mental clarity was absolutely crazy. Um, memory fog didn't actually go away for at least 30, 45. It just kept getting better and better. Just just craziness. Um, being able to recall things was just so great. But just being able to sleep deep. Man, sleeping eight hours without having to get up all the time. Oh, my gosh. I'm talking about blessings on blessings, guys. Uh, I'm telling you, it's just, whoo. And then dreaming. And then getting my ability to smell back after like a couple decades. And then, you know, I got to tell you, being able to sleep with no arthritis, my back not hurting, my neck not hurting, 
you know, being 51, feeling like I'm in a 21 year old body, my inner hip not work, I mean, not hurting anymore, my, my knee from a previous injury, being able to, to have more strength working out. Guys, but I do wanna say it's consistency. It is eating the carnivore diet every day and enjoying the you know what out of it because it is so satiable. Whoo, yes sir. And I know that, you know, when you're eating the most nutritious food in the world, I'm telling you, you have to have faith and you have to jump out. And once you do, man, my biggest fear right now, it's not about just being able to eat only meat because I look at the dishes I'm making. Oh my gosh, Darlene can cook, boy. Who that crab with that sour cream with whatever else you put in there, which was absolutely phenomenal. Oh my word. But um, there were only like three or four ingredients, pepper, salt, something else. <laughs> but yes. So let's get to the shoes. Basically, consistency, having a plan. My plan was eat, eat meat, eat only meat, eat only meat. Okay. Did I know 100% it was going to work? The answer is no. Did I jump out on faith? The answer is yes. Did I take other people's words for it? I said, you know what? I don't want to miss out. And I, and I jumped in. And now I couldn't be happier that I did. I want you to know my experience. I want to let you know. I believe a hundred percent. I've had zero fiber for 145 days. Let's talk about day 145. I'm regular as can be guys. Anything that they told told me about fiber, dismissed, totally. Anything they told me about cholesterol, ooh, it's gonna build up in the arteries, my friends. Cholesterol saves your life, okay? It only goes there because you're eating junk and you have inflammation in the, and it goes in there and heals you. It's like blaming the fireman at the fire. I discredit everything like that. Those are all theories, theologies, whatever the case is. This is my opinion, okay? All right, all right, there you go. So what we're gonna do, I'm going to talk to you. Day 145. I do want to say this is the angel number. What? Yes, it's the angel number. Day 145 for me on the carnivore diet. I could not be happier to be here. I can't wait till it's day 146. Day 1145. I'm telling you guys, I feel so good. Now, consistency. Let me just tell you about angel, okay? It's uh, bring comfort and guidance. Um, what else is it? Uh, it is... It, okay, it is always around and that you are never alone. Anyway, <laughs> you are never alone, folks. You are never alone on the carnivore journey, okay? I think day 145 might be one of my favorite numbers now because it's going to bring you comfort and guidance. You are never alone, and you are not going to be alone on this journey. This carnivore journey is not a journey to say, it's okay if I slip up. If you do, it's okay. That is true. Come back to it. But there's no, I mean, in my humble opinion, I really don't think there's any reason to mess up. Let me tell you what I mean. And is there a reason? There's just no reason. Why am I going to be eating a beautiful steak with a bunch of crab dip or crab or a baked crab and then be like, I got to eat a cake? Well, mind you, if you do feel that way, I understand. But once we get into our minds, that cake is... <laughs> It's no different than any other cake you've eaten in the past. It is not some magical cake that's gonna taste any different. It's not. It's just gonna taste like cake. And I'm gonna tell you something. Cake is not as satiating as a beautiful steak or crab meat or shrimp or, um, you know, what else do I like? I don't know. Um, there's so many things, you know, like rotisserie chicken. Eat rotisserie chicken. I mean, you're, you're talking about this diet. I'm off on a tangent now, obviously. You know, you're in that processed food. It's got over 10,000 chemicals your body cannot break down. It makes up 95% of the store. Man, and then those seed oils are going to be in that cake and everything else. Oh, my gosh. And then you're talking about, you know, I don't want to get into it too much. I don't want to get off on the tangent. I will not do it. I've, I've, at least I've already mentioned it, planted seeds here. But my point is, now I'm going to tell you about something else, what this video is about, right? So... If you're going to stores that are thrift stores that I'm, I'm talking about real thrift stores, I'm not talking about your, your knockoffs where they're like, Oh, I'm going to sell you something for like 15 or $20 or $30, you know, and it's regularly 60 or a hundred. I'm talking about real thrift stores. Real thrift stores is going to be like good whip. Okay. Now, a lot of you have an attitude and I get that. And the attitude isn't actually your attitude, but it's the attitude that society deems upon these stores. And it's hundred percent correct. So what you have is you have people 
that buys so much stuff because we are a society that worships materialism. It is true. Like when you meet somebody, that first impression is always the impression that you remember. Always. You don't want it to be that way. You've been told, no, don't judge somebody for their outside. Judge them for their inside. And I'm going to tell you something. It doesn't work that way. Morally, religiously, you might be told that. But because you live in this world, you don't do that. You look at the, the car that a person drives, and it's just, it's just the case. If I'm driving a BMW, like I used to, compared to an old truck, depending upon the, the, um, the region of the country that you live in. Like here where I'm at, in a little small country town, little tiny truck, or not tiny truck, but an old truck, yes, nice, smart. Um, it's very cool and acceptable where I'm at. Okay. And you know, that's like, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you got some big old wheels on there, even better. Heck yeah. Where I was before. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. You had a BMW, a Lexus. I'm telling you, people are so visual. You know this. I'm cluing into you. All right. So do I buy into the visual stuff? The answer is I don't like it, but it is what it is. So anyway, when it comes to, when it comes to, um, wanting, you know, there's nothing wrong with having nice stuff. So I'm going to show you that people buy so much stuff that they give, they buy so much that they wear something one time or never, and then they give it to Goodwill or they give it to a thrift store. And what do these stores do? They sell them, make a profit, give people, you know, jobs, good jobs. This, this video is going so much longer than I thought it would, but I'm a talker and there you go. So first thing I'm going to show you, oh, first thing I'm going to do is I want to share with you something. Um, I did make some notes here, but I am not going to bore you to death. Mm, I might actually. I'm not sure. I hope not. All right. Let's see. Basically, when you're going to go when you're going to any store, okay, and I got these at Goodwill and I got them at another thrift store. The other thrift store is like $3.99 a pair of shoes. What? Yes, $3.99. At Goodwill, they're usually around $4.99. And I have one pair in here that was $14.99. Most of these are gonna be $7.99 to $9.99. We are gonna see the stickers on these. How do you do this? Consistency, just like with eating um eating the carnivore diet. You've got to have consistency and you've got to be satiated and you got to be able to have fun with it. You know, you can't get stressed out about it when, you know, it's, and always buy things before you need them. I don't know if anybody's told you that, but when you go out to thrift stores, if you do decide to start going out to thrift stores, which I highly encourage because you can save tons of money and you can have a thousand more, a thousand more toys. These are only toys. They are fun to have. And that's about it. Don't worship them. <laughs> Just have fun with them. Now I'm lecturing. All right. So who gets a brand new pair of Timberlands? Who? For $9.99. Now you all know these things cost about $120. How in the world? And these I, I debuted on a, a, a earlier video. I'm going to tell you something. I can't find those Timberlands. They're not going to have those Timberlands again. Blah, 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 blah. I can hear you. I can, I can see your thoughts. My, my, what I'm telling you is this. They will have Timberlands. When I say Timberlands, I'm talking about something just like them or these same exact shoes. I don't know. But you will never find them if you're not consistent, just like with a carnivore diet, just like with working out. Everything in life depends on your consistency. Just like me working overtime this morning. I have to work overtime. That way I get extra money. <laughs> and, and you know, it, it goes that way. Mind you, if you're not on the carnivore diet, you might not be thinking clear. You might not have much energy. You might be very, um, you, you might be very angst and you probably are. I was guys. I'm only on day 145. The healing is real. The healing is real. Your whole life changes. Your thinking becomes much more clear and concise. You get more of a laser focus and then you start to realize things around you that you hadn't, you hadn't seen before. You start thinking about things differently than you have before. You start thinking deeper and you start thinking on different levels. If you're not following me, I want you to start eating the carnivore diet. Don't dismiss what I'm saying. You can if you like. That's fine. But I'm telling you, there is a life-changing diet that I swear by personally from my own personal experience. And I want to share this with you. Only enlightened love. Okay, so this is the first pair. <clears throat> All right, I like those Timberlands. I got so many pairs. 
All right, so here's these Italian pair of shoes I have. I love these things. Let's see. Let's see. It. Look, okay. These are absolutely phenomenal. I'll leave that one right there. Okay, so what kind are they? Um, they're Cole Hans. I don't know. They're absolutely gorgeous. These were hundred over hundred dollar pair of shoes. We'll just leave it like that. That's these. I go to Goodwill and I go to the other, uh, well, actually I just go to Goodwill for most of these things. All I was doing is going like two or three times a week. Not even, not even that sometimes just once a week. I'd go in, I'd go to the shoes and this is the technique. <laughs> you go to the shoes first, you check out the shoes. And then I'm going to tell you something, you can get a whole new wardrobe. I didn't bring any of my other clothes out here, but a whole new wardrobe guys. I have so many shirts, so many brand new shirts that cost $50 plus. Absolutely insane. Um, yeah, check out my other videos if you want to see the shirts. Uh, you know what? I really ought to do a video on the shirts. If you want to see a video on the shirts, put in the comments to see me on the shirts. Uh, let's see. So what are these? Um, this is another pair of Cole Hans. So there you go. These are absolutely gorgeous. These are like a weathered type of leather. When I got these, these had never, ever been worn before. Mm hmm. Mm. I also want to tell you, it doesn't matter what size you are. I'm I'm size 12 to 13. You would think that those would be more difficult to get, but I see so many pairs in there. They're size 11, size 8, size 9. It's insane. All right, so I'm going to show you the front pair because I'm going to be propping other shoes on these. These pair of shoes I actually got for two dollars and fifty cents. A Lukai O L U K A I. These are absolutely. Some of the oddest shoes I've ever seen. Look at the back of that. And I'm going to show you the heel on that. It's got a little hook on it. Just very, very interesting. The feel on these shoes, I would have never actually even picked out these shoes. But it was just like, I, and then I wore them. Oh, my word. The comfort level on these shoes is crazy. So let's go next to these. Some nice little driving shoes. You say driving shoes. Oh, we're talking about $125 pair of driving shoes. Yes. That, that is that is the pair right there. I I love these. I love the leather. Um, I'm not paying $125 for these. But you know what? For the person that bought these, that never wore these, or, you know, right now, Goodwill actually has a ton of stores that are giving a ton of brand new shoes to them. And what they do is they divvy them out to all the stores. I'm telling you the secret, these, these stores and a lot of people, you know, I mean, they just donate their shoes, right? They just, they buy, I don't know how many pairs, they just never wear them. Or maybe they buy them and they're the wrong size a little bit. They just like, ah, forget it. I'm just going to give them, I'm just going to give them away. Yes. People do have that much money. Do I have that much money? Not yet. <laughs> but even when I do, I like to bargain shop. Okay. So these right here, I got them for $7.99. They're Terrell's Ortholite's Man, that pair right there, very thick leather. Another key thing is that when you're buying stuff anywhere at a thrift store, Goodwill, you make sure that they are just like brand new. That's right. Or make sure that they are brand new. Never be in a hurry. Always get the best of the best and pay the least. There's no reason not to. All these shoes right here, these 10 pair, it's over $1,000 worth. I paid less than a hundred dollars for all these shoes. I, I, and I like shoes as you can tell. So this pair right here is crazy. Um, this pair is crazy because they're crazy. Awesome. Ooh, I thought I was going to have a shoe fall. Okay. So let's go ahead and put that pair back here. The driving shoes. Ooh, those are nice driving shoes. When I saw those driving shoes, I was just like, what? Very excited. So, Okay, I was about to show you this pair. Okay, uh, let's take a look. <laughs> what in the heck? Why? Why can I not read it? What in the world? Why can't I read the inside of the shoe? Oh, 
<laughs> Finally, wow, that was a delay, wasn't it? Okay, so these are Borns, B-O-R-N. This pair, I like this pair. And let me tell you why. When I used to hang around, um, I'm in Tennessee, I used to hang around, around Vanderbilt University and I always had, you know, what I did is I would buy thick Vanderbilt. Uh, well, I was hanging around Vanderbilt and I always bought thick leather things, like thick leather walls, thick leather shoes. Guys, whoo, look at these. Thick leather. You got, it's just, they're just gorgeous. Um, yeah, you got the born on the bottom of them. I mean, the, this pair right here, comfortable, comfortable, comfortable. Just, just crazy, crazy nice. Um, this pair, what do we got going on here? You know what? I was trying to find the name of them earlier. I'm not even going to worry about it. This pair, awesome. I got to tell you, this pair I actually paid the most for. I don't know. I paid $14.99. I'll show you. I have no idea why they cost more, but that day I went in for a pair of shoes. I tried these on. They were so comfortable. Got the little boot thing going on there. Man, I, uh, I don't know. Maybe I can find the name of it. Let's see. Uh, Leather upper sole made in India. I don't know. I, I don't know. But <clears throat> maybe I'll put it in the comments for you. Okay. And here's another pair. Let's see. Okay. Here's some Maddens. These Maddens weren't that expensive as shoes. But you got to understand, these were hmm, stickers usually on them. I don't know. There it is. $7.99. Now you got $7.99 for a pair of $60 Maddens. Look at those. <clears throat> nice. Nice. Okay. In other words, I'm not going to be having to go buy new shoes <laughs> in a while. This next pair, I know, it's like, good golly, uh, lots of pairs of shoes. And this is just a small amount of them. Am I obsessed with shoes? The answer is no. Am I having fun at a hobby where I'm collecting things that I can actually use for many, many years to come? The answer is yes. Oh my gosh. And some of these shoes, you know, I, of course, I'm going to like them more than others. Like this pair of Borns. Oh, my gosh, absolutely love those shoes. So, yeah, in my Italian leathers. Um, man. All right, and then, so Winthrop shoes. Now, let me ask you, would you rather pay $85 for a pair of shoes or $9.99 for a brand new pair? Look at the heel on that. They're, they're absolutely gorgeous. Brand new pair of Winthrop's, okay? All right. Once you be able to see those, yes. Might put this pair in my uh, in the picture for the video. So, guys, so many pairs of shoes, consistency in all things, and th that's the big thing. And that, and that's where everybody falls off. That's where everybody teeters. And that's the thing that I had to work hardest on on myself. I am so human. When it comes to working out, you got to get a fire in you. You got to get a fire in you, and you got to get that voice. You got to put that voice in there yourself. The voice that yells at you. The voice that yells at you and applauds you once you do it. And that's what happens. Think about this. When you're working out, right? Before you work out, most of us, when we're first starting to work out, is you're like, no, no, not today. Ah, you know, I just feel like relaxing. Oh, I had a bad day at work. Oh, you know, but then if you do work out, okay? That same voice that was yelling at you is the same voice in your head that's saying, man, yeah, why didn't everybody work out like this? Yes, it's all about consistency. Yes. Yes, sir. So you might not feel like even going to um, these stores. You know, if, if your goal is to get shoes, and I, you know, I was just trying to put a bridge in there, and I was trying to show you that consistency is going to pay off no matter what you're doing. If you're eating right, if you're exercising, the carnivore diet, man, I'm telling you, the, the thing I, I, I fear the most, mind you, I've got enough shoes, obviously, right? <laughs> I do. I do have enough shoes. I'm going to tell you, though, if I can get another pair of driving shoes that are $125 for like 5 or $10, why would I not? <laughs> because those will wear out. And, uh, I mean, not yet, of course, but the thing is, though, is that if I go, like, let's just say, if I go today and I walk in, and it, I, I live like a half a mile from Goodwill, or there's this other uh, thrift store, too, that I can go into, and they have tons of shoes. It's crazy. And I did get a pair of shoes from there. What pair did I get? I don't even know now. I don't know. Hmm. I got some pair. 
they're not in here. I do know that. So do you see how many pairs of shoes I've got? <laughs> trying to think. Hmm. Oh yeah. Rock ports. What? Man, I should have brought that pair in here. Anyway, those rock ports I got for, oh my gosh, $4, $3.99. That is insane. Tennessee, we got some good thrift stores, guys. You got some good thrift stores. If you want to message me individually, I'll let you know where they're at, okay, or where I go. Be more than happy to do that. Yes. But yeah, these, um, these thr and mind you, you got to go to them often. Like I go once or twice a week. And this one thrift store, you might not even have to do that. Um, I just found out about it, actually. Unbelievably, it's just like right around the block from me. It's like insane. But my point here is this. My point is that being consistent. Also, I like my shoes. <laughs> I'm off on a tangent now. <laughs> no, I really do like my shoes. I really do. I like my shoes. I don't know why. I don't know why I like them so much. I mean, I do. I mean, here's the thing. I work from home, right? So when I go out, I mean, I'm usually wearing sandals. So the question would be, why do you, you know, because... I like them and man, I got a ton of, you know what? I got a ton of shirts too. I got so many shirts. I haven't even had a time to wear them all. Mm -mm. I get those short sleeve shirts, you know, they're the expensive golfer shirts that are like 50 bucks. And I get them for like six nine, well, five ninety nine. Or actually I got two shirts the other day. They were uh, three, no, I think they were two ninety nine a piece. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, two ninety nine. All their shirts are two ninety nine. I'm like, what are you insane? And <laughs> these shirts are like fifty dollars shirts. I spent six dollars for a hundred dollars worth of shirts. In other words, if something happens to the shirts, do I care? No, I do not care. No, if I spent fifty dollars on a shirt, oh my gosh! Now, will I take care of it? The answer is yes. You're not alone, my friends. You're not alone on this carnivore journey. You're not alone. Your mind is going to give you, your mind is going to be in a mind space, a new mind space where you're going to feel so at ease. Your anxiety is going to go down by like 90%. Yes. You will have to get yourself angst up to be able to get to your goals. Now, I'm not saying really angst up, but what I'm saying is that the stress levels come down so much, but your determination will go up. You'll be able to push yourself. Okay. And you'll be able to push yourself because you have the mental clarity and you have that energy, that physical energy. Whew, I've been kicking it back with y'all for a while. I know this has been a 30 minute video, almost 30 minutes, and I know the algorithms are gonna be pretty rough on it. If you are here at this point in the video, what I'd like you to do is smash the like button, subscribe if you would, if you haven't already. I do have more tips, more tip tricks. I gotta tell you my tip, my tip is going to these stores, these thrift stores, once or twice a week. Don't get discouraged, don't get discouraged. Have no expectations. Make it become a system. It's just like when you eat carnivore, okay? You know what to do. You know the inflammation is going down. You know your blood pressure is going to get down. You know you're going to reverse your type 2 diabetes. You, you know, at least you know it's possible 99% of the time. Something like that. I don't know exactly. But, you know, and you know the arthritis is going to go away. You know your pains are going to be minimized. You know your blood pressure is going to go down. Mine's, mine's down to like 93 over 60. It, and then you're going to save money. How are you going to save money? Because you're going to be thinking straight, number one. Number two, my, my house was set to 67 and now it's set to 79. Why is that? Because it sounds like it's really hot. Right now it is for you. If you're not carnivore, that sounds really hot. And it sounds really hot because your body's full of inflammation. Now, I know. How do I know your body's full of inflammation? Because look at your blood pressure. Your blood pressure is up. Once your blood pressure comes down, the inflammation is going away. Once that inflammation goes away, you're going to get cold a lot quicker. That's not, not because you're sick. It's because you're so freaking healthy. Your blood's flowing well. You're going to feel great. Guys, I wish you all, all the blessings in the world. I thank you so much for showing up, showing out. And um, yeah, if, um, if you want to see those shirts, please put that in the comments. I will. I will do a video on shirts. If I just have, let's say, two comments that say anything about shirts, I'll do the shirts. Yes, I will. <laughs> Can't guarantee when it will be, but it will be pretty soon. So yeah. And I know. I know. Uh... <laughs> And you eat cows and you wear shoes made out of cows. So we don't want to waste any part of the cow, right? Yeah, there you go. Um, also, you know, I got to tell you, there's just so many other things. There's so many, you know, like when, when you're going to Goodwill though, right? 
If this is your first video you've seen with me, oh my gosh, you should, you should see the lambskin. I gotta tell you, when you go into Goodwill, it's not just about shoes. You go into the coats, you check all the leather coats. I'm telling you, they have got some bomb diggity coats. And there are people like, if, you're not, if, you, don't go to, if you don't go to Goodwill right now, okay? If you don't go to other thrift stores, okay? You are one of the, like the 99% of the people that think that, oh, I'm not gonna waste my time going to a thrift store. Oh, I'm not gonna go there. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. And I'm the guy, okay, that has the $300 lambskin uh, jacket just because I decided to go in and I was like, I'm going to look, you know, it, it might not be anything worth it, but if it, there is one that's the bomb with zero blemishes, okay, and it looks brand new, it might even have the tags on the lamb, uh, the lambskin jacket, the, the leather jacket, yes. And I walk in and somebody has donated, I don't know, let me just make up something funny, okay, like, let's say some girl was dating some guy. <laughs> she kicked him out and she takes all his clothes and she donates them. That's what I'm talking about. Mm hmm. Yeah. Some guy moves and he's like, you know what? I'm not taking any of my clothes. I'm going to go buy all new clothes. And he takes everything. Everything. I'm talking about guys now because, you know, I'm a guy, right? I mean, these things happen. Are you going to cash in? Why not? Why not? Why not get a whole new wardrobe? Polos, Nautica. That's all I got, basically, except other, like Greg Norman. I mean, a lot of different shirts, all brand new. It's brand new tags. And they show up, and you just go down. And so basically, it's shoes. <laughs> if you want to do this, it's shoes, coats. Then you can go to the shorts. Those are the, oh, man, I got almost all my shorts from there. And then you can, um, yeah, yeah, go down to the, uh, the shirt aisle. Anyways, guys, really appreciate you hanging out with me. Um, oh my goodness, I really appreciate you being part of my journey. This carnivore journey is something, it's just not a journey. It's, it's just like bliss is what it is. It is the, I am the best version of myself that I've been in over 20 years, 20, 30 years. It's given me a whole new life. It's been giving me a whole new beginning. It is, I can't say enough about it. Um, this is the little clicker because I'm about to end the video. But <laughs> guys, guys, guys. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it is, whoo, hope you enjoy seeing these shoes. Y'all have a beautiful rest of the day. I'm going to be, I'm going to jump out of here. What am I going to do? It's like 10 o'clock. Mm, what? Yeah. I think I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to, yeah, there was this one thrift store that I went to. Man, I tell you, those rock ports are nice. It was $3.99 or what was it? $2.99? Three, no, it was $3.99. Yeah. Yeah. They were $4 shoes. Yeah. That's insane. Insane. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> maybe they're two ninety nine. They were two ninety nine, three ninety nine. Okay, so I'm not a thousand percent on that. Hmm. I think they were three ninety nine. Anyway, <sighs> can you tell? And this is unedited. Yeah, I do like doing the edits though. Now, and I've got another. Um, I, Darlene and I, we figured out the edits. Also, not really figured them out, but we haven't figured out how to add music, obviously, which is kind of fun. So you're gonna see some change ups. Also, Darlene has been so sweet. She's come on the videos. Oh my gosh, she's so fun. And I, I just I just love her engaging. Um, she had the idea, you know, with uh, with the barbecue place yesterday. That was, that was, was it yesterday? Day before. Uh, it was the day before, yep. When we went to Cumberland Caverns, that was an awesome trip. If you haven't seen that video of the, uh, of the barbecue place, please check it out. Cause that was a lot of fun. That was fun barbecue over there in McMinnville. And our next barbecue is gonna be this Wednesday. Guys, I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a beautiful day. Peace out.